We're here with Natasha Aki, and we're gonna go over three tips for you to get strong legs fast, and we're gonna start right now. <laughs> Okay, so first we're gonna go into, we've gotta get strong as f as fast as possible. So what Natasha's gonna be doing is she's gonna be working up to a heavy single, triple in the back squat, but we're doing one little thing to help her improve her leg strength. She's gonna use that little, little tweak in her technique to help put more weight on the bar. And that's gonna be the first step that we're gonna go over. So we gotta think about if we wanna get strong legs fast, we have to look at the actual overload. How much weight can we get on the bar to increase that stimulus, which then leads to that big response so that we can get strong legs fast. I warm up super slow. <laughs> I kind of like taking my time just to make sure. Okay, so one of the things I noticed with, with Natasha is that she's got really good ankle mobility. Her knees track forward really well, butt gets back well. She's going with a lower bar. So that's that first tip for how you can get stronger legs is if you go lower bar back squat and she's even doing full range of motion with that low bar. So she's got full range of motion. Meanwhile, because the bar placement's a little bit more over her hips, especially when she gets into the bottom position, she can hold a little bit more load on the bar, which is gonna help increase that stimulus and ultimately lead to more weight on the bar, which will lead to stronger legs a lot faster. So tip number one, and she's doing a great job of demonstrating is to low bar back squat for that increase in leg strength. I did 265, it felt pretty good. Pretty good. It's weird though because I usually like the gym I train at usually has mirrors and like so it's so, so weird. So you can see everything, yeah. Yeah, so I can see like how my knees are moving, like yeah. how everything is. So it's so weird not having a mirror. I'm like, where do I look? <laughs> so you actually like using mirrors. I think this is actually very interesting because Paula Quinn, who's also Canadian subsequently, would talk about not using mirrors because it could it could impede on technique. And there's even been research that has discussed this because it's essentially like a, a slight delay. Now, what's interesting, and this is like a sidebar where I agree with Natasha, is that there's a woman named uh, Jin Chung Kuo, who's like the greatest weightlifter in the world right now. And she consistently will do her warmups in front of a mirror. And so a lot of people have been like, oh my gosh, but the research says this. And it's like, well, it might say that, but anecdotally, it clearly works for you, it works for her, so it's really not that bad. And I think that that's, especially as you get more elite, I think you'll see like, athletes like to see how, see themselves move, and if you're used to it, it will help you, you know, if you see your knee caving or something, you can, you know, you can fix that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think that's cool. Sorry we don't have mirrors though. They would just get broken here, or they'd be covered in dust. So 285's on the bar. What's your usual rest period? Um, so it used to be around like three minutes and then sometimes like my coach, I'll like message him the day of while I'm lifting, I'll send him videos and he'll tell me to either like go up or not. Okay. Sometimes he takes a long time to respond. To get back, back. yeah. So one time I was like, it was like eight minutes and I was like, oh my God, that's way too long. Like my, I feel like that's too long of a rest for me. Right. But it actually helped me realize that I probably should be taking longer rest, especially when I'm like lifting heavier. Right. Because I found it was easier, so I was like, huh. So usually for like heavy, I'll keep it anywhere from like four to like eight minutes if it's super, super heavy. And then my accessory stuff will be like, like two minutes maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's reasonable. Yeah. That's like a shopper workout. It's like what shoppers are known for. It's just taking like 10 minutes in between each set. I just feel like it's so long though. <laughs> like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do it in like 10 minutes? <laughs> I feel weird just like sitting there doing nothing.
Okay, so the second key tip behind getting strong legs fast straight from Natasha Aki is gonna be doing unilateral accessory work. So a ton of Bulgarian split squats, a ton of walking lunges, a ton of single leg leg presses, anything like that is gonna help you get strong legs fast. I'll probably do 20. You're gonna do 20 straight with the 60s? Yeah. Holy sh God, I feel like a <laughs> I'll probably die, but. I'm, I'm going body weight. <laughs> and I'm not, I don't feel bad either. How do you feel, T? <laughs> oh, my legs are already feeling it. You also did more deadlifts than I did squats. Yeah, but I feel like that's the reason for your legs to be more tired. <laughs> oh my God! Yo, I'm doing one way. I'm not doing both ways. Oh. Come on, that was easy. <laughs> oh. That's good. Dude, I'll be sore just from that. I could have her curl the 60s. <laughs> oh man, I'll do like a full leg workout and I won't be that sore the next day. A leg press, single leg. I feel like my left leg, I should probably have it outside of the machine. I feel like this is actually like mimicking my drive in the sumo. When I was pulling, I feel like it's amazing how much stronger my left leg is than my right. That's crazy. I feel like you definitely notice it a lot on single leg leg press because when I had those in my program, I was like, wow, my left leg like feels so much smoother and it can go down, I feel like, easier. But then on your right. Yeah. How do you jump? Do you jump off of one leg or two? For, for what, sorry? Like if you do a box jump or? Uh, if I was doing, I actually have box the box box in my program for this new one, but it's usually like with both. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and do some lunges real quick. So that'd be another key tip with doing unilateral accessory work is that you're gonna figure out really quick where you have a problem. So for me, my right leg felt like that weight was a thousand pounds. The left side felt like it was 200. So that's like another big key factor behind Unilateral accessory work. Again, this is the second tip to get those legs strong fast. Oh, oh my God. Jason, if you did this, you'd be sore for a week. <laughs> oh my bell. Okay, so that third key tip behind trying to increase your leg strength quickly is gonna be focusing on targeted back work. So if we're hammering our lower back, we're also gonna be hammering our hamstrings to a point and our glutes. And the whole goal is to get all of that to sort of sequence together and to fire as coordinated as possible. If it's really coordinated, then we can do a lot heavier weight when we're back squatting, when we're pulling off the floor, when we're doing weightlifting exercises, when we're jumping, anything along these lines. So the main goal behind doing back work, one is to make sure that we stay healthy. So it's a form of injury prevention or even some rehabilitation to a point. But then two, we wanna focus on strengthening that back so it's not the weakest link. If we can have a really strong back, we're ideally gonna be able to squat a lot more. If we can squat a lot more, that can transfer over to our weightlifting movements or our powerlifting movements, whatever sports that we're playing in. And that's gonna to lead to increasing our leg strength as fast as possible.
I'm just being lazy and don't want to do the hard things. <laughs> oh my gosh, those hit the erectors like crazy. I'm just gonna grab my. That's the thing too. It's like if you can round. I don't even think am I even rounding? You're you're not as like you're not as arched as you normally would be. You're like flat back. I'm like the master rounder, <laughs> so it's easier to feel it. But that's why I think for you, because you're so good at holding that upright posture now you're rounding a little bit and it's gonna light that up even more. So ideally, that gets stronger so you can hold a little bit more extension when you're squatting. Gotcha. Oh man, I don't know what it would be. If I was rounding more, ooh. Maybe blue. Okay, so three big keys. If you wanna squat as much as Natasha can, you gotta focus on low bar back squats, full range of motion. You gotta focus on unilateral accessory work. And then that third key is to improve your back strength. If your back endurance and your back strength is through the roof, you're going to get strong legs extremely fast. Until next time, freaks, remember, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.